in the last video, we talked about the change in a quantity. In that situation, only one quantity was changing. When two quantities are expected to change at the same time, we can talk about the rate of change. The rate of change can be understood as a ratio. The rate of change in a quantity B relative to the change in A is just the ratio change in B over change in A. Let me give a specific example. Suppose the price of shipping an order from an online store changes with the number of items ordered. It costs $7 if you want to ship three items and $11 if you want to ship five items. What is the rate of change? Now, I need to be a little bit more specific because order matters here, right? Let's find out the rate of change in price relative to the number of items. So the change in price, I'm going to say, I'm going to start with $7 for three items and end with $11 for five items. So the change in price will be $11 minus $7, $4. The change in number of items is 5 items minus 3 items is 2 items. Now we write the ratio is $4, the change in price, over 2 items the change in the number of items. So that's two dollars per item. Now, if I now ask the question, how much would the shipping charge increase if I buy seven additional items? Well, now I'm using the ratio equation. So I'm saying change in price equals the rate of change times the change in the number of items. So in this question, the change in price equals $2 per item times 7 items, which will give me $14. If I buy 7 additional items, the shipping charge will increase by $14. Now there's one key thing that we need to remember about the rate of change, and it's about what the signs are likely to be in a rate of change. If both quantities increase, right, so then my rate of change is a positive number over a positive number, or both quantities decrease, so my rate of change is a negative number over a negative number, then the rate of change will be positive. On the other hand, if one quantity increases while the other decreases, so then our rate of change will either be a positive over a negative or a negative over a positive, then the rate of change is negative. You may have been wondering in this example, how I knew to start at $7 for 3 and end at $11 for 5 rather than the other way around, I actually get to pick. If there's no clear definition of where to start and where to end, then just pick one to figure out the rate of change. As long as you choose the same start and end for both quantities, you'll get the same answer. 